We're here today at Audio Video Systems talking to Kurt about structured wiring. Kurt, my builder has mentioned an allowance for structured wiring. What is that? Well, structured wiring is actually all the wires that make your house run as far as for your audio, your video, your telephone. Um, back years ago, we used to just like daisy chain phones, daisy chain cables, and electricians would typically just do that and run from A to B. And what the structured wiring panel is, is actually all those cables home run to one location. Um, why that benefits you is if you have, say, Dish Network service right now for TV and you want to change the cable. Well, you don't have to have the cable company come in, drill holes through your wall, run black cables in the outside of your house. They can just come to this panel, put in a splitter, and you'll have cable TV to the rest of your home. Okay. So would this tie in with any data service I would have, any internet service at my home? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the data actually is much more prevalent now than phones. It used to be years ago you'd have like you know five telephones in a house, five TVs. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're doing like one phone in a house and five datas and five TVs. Um, all the TVs nowadays and Blu-ray players are all internet capable. So you can go online, you can do Netflix, YouTube videos right from your TV set. And what these cables do, like right here is a data jack. Okay. Uh, you would just plug your TV directly into that data jack. It's conveniently right above the coax end. So where your TV would plug in for cable service, it would also plug in to the internet. Okay. Where you would have instant high speed internet. You wouldn't have to worry At about wireless and enter a password. Maybe it worked, maybe it wouldn't. It's hardwired. It works every time. Okay. That's perfect. What's different about that one? This panel is something we could do for like a Wii. Um, say you have a Wii system that you plug in occasionally. We do this a lot for maybe a grandparent's home where the kids might bring their Wii, they could plug in here. Okay. You can also use these audio jacks to plug in like an iPod, uh, where you may have an iPod in your kitchen, um, and you can plug in your iPod directly and listen to that for, for okay. music. And then the third one, what's different about that? Next one is uh, speaker binding posts. Um, this speaker binding post is where you could plug in your speakers, wires actually. This would be like behind the amplifier. Okay. Okay, Kurt, tell me more about this panel. Uh, we actually pick uh, the location, what's convenient. We typically try for like a mechanical room, uh, so you can always have access to it later okay. on. Um, these, this steel can actually has a door as well, so when it's all closed up, it's something you may never personally ever open, use, but it's an area where your cable installer, your telephone installer can come and have all the cables in one location. Um, it's also a place where you can change like your data location. Say if you have an office where you have your desk set up on one side of the wall and mm -hmm. you have the option to have your desk set up on the other side of the wall. Right. Um, with this, you could have one computer on that side of the wall plugged in, hardwired. If you'd move locations, you'll simply come down to this panel, open the door, take the data jack and unplug it from that location, just plug it into the new location. They're all labeled. Okay. And you'll say you know, east den wall, west den wall. So you can simply just unplug and replug and you'll have live internet. So you don't have to call you know, uh, the cable company to come and help you with that. And it would be nice that I know where it's all at. Absolutely. So if the cable guy shows up, I don't have to try to figure out where it's at. I just point him to the panel and that's where he goes. Yep. Structured wiring is very important to think about not only today, but also plan for the future. Okay. Um, with structured wiring, you may want a TV on this side of the wall now, but if you decide later, you might want above a fireplace or on the other side of the wall. Wiring for that now is very inexpensive, where to do it later on in a year, two, five years down the road may be impossible without removing drywall, repainting, which get very expensive. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for all the information. Thank you.